GNOME 312 is due to be released on March 26th. We'll be looking at an overview of some of the exciting things you'll see in the new release. 312 comes with a lot of polish to GNOME Shell and a number of new features to GNOME applications. And there's also good news for developers out there. 312 brings speed. For starters, GNOME Shell loads faster and uses fewer resources, which is great because this allows your computer to focus on what is most important, applications. This release also brings improvements to many applications, as well as a new way to organize your apps with custom application folders which can be created easily with GNOME software. Software itself has also received a major overhaul, with many new exciting features. Many applications are now shipping screenshots and star ratings, which give you a good overview of the variety in your search results. It's now also possible to change software sources, update manually, and search with increased performance along with many other improvements. GNOME 312 also brings a new G-Edit with an overhauled user interface. The new minimalistic user interface helps you focus on the task at hand while preserving all the features you need in a text editor. Videos has similarly gained a new face along with new features. Through videos, it is now possible to browse your local library and watch videos in the new playback view. Also, browsing through streaming videos from a number of web services is now possible directly from the new slick user interface. With web, browsing content on the internet is now also possible much more elegantly. Finding a website you visited before or downloading content to your computer has aesthetically improved to enhance your experience without getting in the way of your work. In this release, there are also a few totally new applications. Sound Recorder is now here to meet your audio recording needs, while Logs helps you monitor the state of your computer via the SystemD journal. All this and many more updates have happened to applications, all part of the 3.12 release. The under the hood effort on making GNOME Shell run natively on Wayland continues. At present, primary functionality, display configuration, and color management are implemented and included in the Wayland preview ship with GNOME. For future releases, work is currently being done to better support different types of input, clipboard support, and startup notifications. For developers, we have quite a lot of news as well. GNOME 312 includes many improvements that will make it easier to integrate your app with GNOME and other desktop environments. Improvements have been made to various APIs, primarily the G-Subprocess API, which has become a lot more powerful, and G-Notification, which has received a whole new API for desktop notification support. GTK3 has also received new components, such as the GTK Flowbox, GTK Action Bar, and GTK Popover. These will give you new possibilities for creating a great user experience and make your app that much more awesome. Alongside the new internal changes, the documentation that you rely on has also received an overhaul in look as well as in content. These changes aim at increasing your productivity, just like the new search provider for your favorite terminal commands. Overall, GNOME 312 brings a lot of exciting new features to the table. Once again, improving our favorite desktop environment and everything that comes with it. If you want to be a part of our efforts towards GNOME, join us here. We look forward to helping you get started. My name is Karen Sandler, and thanks for watching.